So we switch to the setup phase and first we register the situation with the Omnicam and then with the Serec Bluecam. On the left side we can see the Omnicam image set up with the Bluecam and on the right parallel to that we can see the Bluecam image. The Omnicam doesn't need to be powdered like the Bluecam. With the Omnicam the camera has to be moved quite far in a buckle and then a lingual direction to clearly capture the curvature and the undercuts of the teeth. The same also applies for cavities such as inlay boxes and close by crowns. The Omnicam is best at imaging areas that are observed vertically. In this patient we are restoring crowns that are about 18 years old. She has a significant crossbite. At the time we made the cusps of the lower molars very round to prevent them catching on the cheek. So we want to put this shape into the new restoration. We therefore scan the actual situation into what we call a bio-reference copy catalogue. The scanning strategy is identical for both cameras. You can't and you actually shouldn't scan the whole jaw in one go with a whole jaw scan as this is. It would be very difficult to do. It's therefore so recommended that you dry an area or that you powder it if you're using the blue cam. That you scan it and then you overlap the scans and then you go through the whole thing again. You dry or powder an area then scan it and so on. The Omnicam takes a series of individual images with the continuous video stream. If it loses the thread, there's an audible and visual signal to alert you. If this happens, you'll need to scan in an area it already knows so that the model can carry on being built up. With the blue cam, there's also a visual signal. There's a, a red symbol in the catalogue to signal that there are images that cannot be assigned, while a green symbol means that they've all been assigned to a customer. In both cases, all models are required in one go, which means that the 3D body that represents the jaw model has to be recorded in a continuous process. With both options, any unwanted artefacts can be removed, even in the scanning phase. With the blue cam, any images with the artefact or any images that are blurred can be removed by opening up the catalogue and then deleting the image. With the Omnicam, the specific area can be circled around, cut out and then rescanned in the 3D model. After the preparation and drying, we scan in the preparation and then the antagonist and the buckle bite. The images are assigned and then they're ready to be uploaded into the Connect portal.